here's how bad my eyes are. Wait, wait, I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Hang on. They say that if you put your glasses over a camera lens and then you manually focus the camera lens, uh, then when you take the camera lens away, what you see is what the person who wears the glasses sees when their glasses are off. Ready for the big reveal? That. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Pretty freaking accurate. That's what I see when I'm not wearing my glasses. And that's why corrective lenses for FPV goggles are such a big freaking deal to me. Now, a lot of FPV goggles today are coming with adjustable focus built in. And that's good, but it's not as good as it could be for two reasons. Here is my actual glasses prescription. And you can see that my diopter, or I think optometrists call it the spherical correction, is minus 675 and minus 725 in my left and right eye. And that's actually outside the range of the built-in focus adjustment that most goggles have. Most goggles go from plus two to minus six diopters. Some of them go further and I can get them mostly in focus. But there's another reason why even when the glasses have built-in focus adjustment, I'm still not seeing the best possible image that I could see. And that goes back to this, the sill or cylindrical, which is also known as astigmatism. I have astigmatism and there are no glasses, there are no FPV goggles with built-in astigmatism correction. And that means that the only way for me to see the clearest possible image is to have aftermarket corrective lenses made to my exact prescription. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're going to learn something today. I want to start this video by looking at the lenses made for the DJI V1 and V2 goggles because they do not have adjustable focus. And what many people do is they just cram them on their face, hope that their glasses are small enough. And it's really a pain because like they're grabbing, they're pressing. It's not very comfortable. The glasses get scratched up. I actually have some 3D printed 3D printed holders for these old Fat Shark uh, corrective lenses, and they work okay, but they're a little bit janky being 3D printed. They're not as perfect as they could be. And that's why I am really excited to try out these lenses. Uh, the company that they're from is called Honsever. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I hope that I am. Hey, it's Joshua from the future. It's Hans VR. They make corrective lenses for VR goggles, and now they're branching out into FPV. VR, that's probably how you say it. Um, and uh, they reached out to me uh, and offered to send these to me in exchange for this review. Uh, so let's take them out. And basically, very cool packaging, but probably we will throw it out and never see it again. I don't know, maybe you'll find some use for it. Uh, we've got the left and the right. And really, there are two things I want to check here. Number one, just the sort of build quality of the lenses themselves, and then we're gonna put them on the goggles, we're gonna power up the goggles, and we're gonna like see how good they look. As far as the quality of the lens itself, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to say. They're advertised as being high index material, which means they're gonna be thinner and lighter, especially if you have a very strong prescription like I do. And they're advertised as having a premium coating, but it's not clear, like, is that an anti-scratch coating? Is it an anti-glare coating? I don't really know. The outer holder, or at least the V2 goggles, looks to me like it is some kind of 3D printed material, but 3D printed like on a resin printer, not on a typical FDM printer. In other words, you can't see individual layer lines or anything like that. How strong is it? Well, I'm not gonna break it just to see how strong it is, but like I'm kind of pulling on it here and it's not, it doesn't feel like super weak and light and fragile. Mm, who knows? Let's put them on the goggles. Oh, they are marked. I'm a dumbass. Ha ah, Okay. Woo! Close one. They're marked left and right. <laughs> okay, great. Now for the V2 goggles, they're just going to pop on like so. Fantastic. Right. Is there a top or bottom? I'm going to guess the letter goes on bottom. There we go. They're going to just pop right on. And we'll power them up and we'll see what they look like. <laughs> That's really good. I mean, I guess what would you expect though, right? It's my glasses prescription. It's as good as it could possibly be. 
The real uh, place that I think I'm going to see a difference is when we compare the built-in focus adjustment on the goggles too to the actual perfect prescription with astigmatism and everything uh, of these lenses. That's what I'm most excited for. Let's do it. So the Goggles 2 comes with the lenses only and not the lens holders. And the reason for that is that DJI ships blank lens holders with the Goggles 2 for you to put these in. Thankfully, I still own these and I can scan this QR code to go to the user guide and figure out how to install these things. There we go. So this comes off just by pulling on it. And of course, this is not 3D printed. This is high quality injection molded plastic. Paying for DJI quality, right? <laughs> you may as well get it. There we go. That comes off. The blank comes out. Now that we've got the lens holder apart, we have to install the lens in the lens holder. And there's a, I was a little bit confused until I looked at the Hans VR installation guide. Uh, the reason I'm confused is it says top here, but the word top is on the bottom. And so, like, what the hell is going on? Here's what's going on. Take this piece of the lens holder. This is the bottom piece of the lens holder. Notice that it has a flat spot right here, and this lens has a machined flat spot as well. We're gonna put the lens in the bottom piece of the lens holder, like so, with the flat spot lined up. And we're gonna do that with the top surface of the lens facing up. That's what top means. It doesn't mean bottom top, it means bottom top. Then we're just going to click this top piece of the lens holder back on and make sure that the letter R is at the top, the 12 o'clock position, so that you know how to put that on correctly when you put it on the goggles. And there you go. That, I believe, is correct. We'll do the same thing for the left side. What I'm going to do is first, I'm going to look into the goggles too with my standard adjustment. This is focus adjustment only, not astigmatism. And... It looks pretty good, um, but there definitely is some inability to perfectly focus on some of the finer details because of the astigmatism. We're going to now take these goggles and we're going to put the focus adjustment back at zero. And we're going to put the lenses on. Right? Can they just go on in any position? Yeah, it's just friction fit, so it has to be up to me to put this on with the lettering at the top. If I turn this, oh god, if I turn, oh man, look at that. If I turn this, oh wow, it turns the freaking lens as well. That sucks, because the lenses have a top and a bottom. And I may need to, like, well, if it's at zero, like, it needs to be, like, perfectly at zero. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up perfectly at zero, and then I'm going to lock it off. Lock it off. You can actually press down and tighten these and lock them off. Maybe, maybe, you did, maybe some people don't know that. So now we have the lenses installed, and moment of truth. Oh. That's, that's better. It's better. Like the, the the little bit of loss of focus, the, the little bit of fine details that get lost because of the astigmatism is fixed. Uh, but it's not that same night and day difference that I saw the very, very first time I tried uh, corrective lenses for my fat shark goggles. In fact, let me show you what that looked like. Oh my God. <laughs> reason I'm not having that big of a reaction with these specific goggles is that the DJI goggles too can actually focus all the way to minus eight. And that means that they can fully focus for my diopter adjustment. The only thing they can't correct for is my astigmatism, which is relatively small.
On the other hand, if you have goggles that don't have any focus adjustment at all, or if you have a particularly strong astigmatism, or if you have a focus, a diopter, that is outside the range of what your goggles can correct for, typically minus six diopter, those are the people who I think are going to benefit the most from corrective lenses like this. And this is not the least expensive thing you'll ever buy in the world of FPV. It's not the most expensive either, but it is a quality of life improvement where you can just put your freaking goggles on and not have to like all that nonsense. You can just put your freaking goggles on and wear them and everything looks great. If you're interested in picking these up, there are links down in the video description below where you can get them. And they, uh, Hans VR makes corrective lenses for all kinds of goggles, including VR goggles, if you're into that, although that's not something I really focus on on my channel. I do want to say that the one person who might steer away from this is, like, if you're in a situation where you're putting goggles on your face and trading goggles a lot, like when I do a class... If I do a class and there's like eight or 10 or 15 students in the class, a lot of times I'll like be, be like, here, let me look at your quad. Uh huh. And then I'll hand the goggles back and we're just handing goggles back and forth. Uh, and in that case, the ability to just put the goggles on your face quick, real quick, dial in a rough focus adjustment and use them and then take them off and hand them back to the student quick, and real quick, put them back to their prescription. If I had goggles like this, I, I would constantly be taking the lenses out and in. And having done that before with other goggles, it's kind of a pain in the ass. So you're going to want to put these on a set of goggles that you use and pretty much only you use. Otherwise, you may just want to make do with the built-in focus adjustment. But Hans VR is not the only company that makes corrective lenses for FPV goggles. I want to refer you to my original review, the very, very first time I got corrective lenses for my FPV goggles. Uh, it's from a different company that is still in business and still making products. And uh, you can see much, much younger Joshua have a much, much bigger reaction to uh, getting any vision correction at all. I think you're going to enjoy it. I'll see you there.